All right, say something now. Yo, can you hear me? Oh, it's working. It's all working. Right, right, there we go. There you go. All right, sounds good. There we go. <laughs> we can do it. Here's my brother. Fix Sorry. It. It's all good, man. What's up? Stuff. Oh, stuff. All right. Sounds good. All right. So we can just jump into it, I guess. So I I know you're gold league. league? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm, sh I'm pretty bad. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, what, uh, would what, like what would you like to focus, focus on? on? Mostly. Z Z. I I hate two base meter. Let me make it so it doesn't sound so cancerous. All right, sounds All right, good. Sounds good. Yeah, if yeah, you guys if do, you guys uh, do uh, push to talk, push to talk. It'll make it it'll right make up here myself when I talk. Because I, I hear a huge, huge echo. echo. Sorry about that. Well, it's, it's on my brother's computer. That's like the only way it works. <laughs> it's, it's all good. God, it's so cringy. Um, here. <laughs> I can't do it. Sorry. I have something I'm doing right now. Microphone activated. Okay, you have to start now. Yeah, I know. It's like an hour long, though. Why would you start it right before dinner? I don't know. Wait, why can't we hear him? Do you guys uh, want to reschedule? For that dinner time? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You sure? No, your parents are going to come mid, mid lesson? Get your ass downstairs! <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. We can reschedule, man. It's not a big problem. Like at least the mic's working. No, no it's fine. I can do it. You sure? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so. Should we get your ass down. So should we? Should we? Should we watch? Should we watch? Um. Uh. Well, what, first of all, what are you? What are you interested in? Are you interested in macro? Are you interested in all ins? I like macro. Okay. Um. I don't really want to necessarily give you just a replay to watch. The biggest thing I'd rather do is watch you play games uh, and then just tell you what you're doing wrong and tell you how to fix what you're doing. Because, uh... Okay. Do 1v1. Should I do, like... I'll have someone from the stream play you. Because you're, you're in Gold League. Um, are you, like, an active Gold League, or is that something you've hit before and right now you haven't played for a while or something? I'm, 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 I'm Gold League, like... Okay. All right. I'll just try and get someone from the stream to play you. I, I'm sure I can find someone. All right, yo. Stream! Uh, I need I need a gold league level player. Let's fucking do this. I mean, let's freaking do this. Sorry, parents. <laughs> um, yeah, so guys, we need a. Uh, yeah, I kind of get Shrek. All the Anybody interested? I'm gonna Here make a game. Uh, here we go. I'll just do this map. All right, I'm gonna make a game, and then I'll get someone from the stream, and I'll watch you play. This guy says he's gold. Okay. All right, there we go. I already got someone. Boom. It's that fast. I just said I would. Tara Lynn, get okay. over here. Sorry, I don't actually. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a lot of things at once, and I'm, it's really hard to continuously to read chat. Alright. It'll be fun, I guess. But uh. It's all good, man. It's what coaching's all about. Just getting better. Um, so if you guys don't know how to do it, just join the Viber group chat. You just gotta find, type in Vibe in those groups, and then you'll see Vibrators like that. Double click it. Join the chat. You're in it. Uh, Sky, are you there? I'm that guy. I don't know. He's, I think he timed out. I'll try and invite him again. Okay. You ready? ready? Yep. Okay. Go. You're the same person? Wait, Sky, you're Tara Lynn? Ah, okay. <clears throat> okay. He sounds like Andy Milanakis. <laughs> Sorry for having uh, such a high voice. <laughs> You're all good, dude. My chat likes it. They say you sound like Andy Milanakis. He's a celebrity. Who's actually like 50 <laughs> years old. Somehow it still looks like a, like a teenager. I'm not 50. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay, so just do whatever you want to do. Do your build that you normally do in ZVZ. And all I'm going to be looking at is the fact that you want to macro. So I'll tell you when I see you doing something that is not efficient. So right now, right off the bat, uh, 14 Overlord, if you're going to do that, you need to gas trick. Uh, 13 Overlord is ideal, but if you go 14, well, you, you want a gas trick, which means build an extractor while you have an extractor built, build a drone, and then cancel the extractor. Yeah. Because if you ever let your larva go above, th go to three on your hatchery, and they just sit there for a while, it's really bad because you're not actually getting larva generation anymore, and it's like, it's yeah. stopping. So never let your larva max out. Is it good, uh, is it good to go hatch first in ZVZ? Yeah, you, you, you can. I do it all the time. And I'm just scared of getting like 13, 12 or something. Yeah, so what you should do then is go, uh, you should go pool before gas. If you're afraid of all ins, it'll make it easier to defend it. If you go hatchery, then pool, then gas. Alright. And you can make it a habit okay. too, uh, all the time when you're like waiting like right now. Just keep rolling your fingers on SD, 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 SD off your hatchery hockey. Yeah, no, I just spam my control groups, but I'm not sure if that's. Yeah, spamming your keyboards, okay, it's not that bad. Uh, as long as you're hitting the right things. And like, yeah. a lot of times, what you should be doing is you should always just be spamming, make drones. Even if you don't have enough minerals to do it. Because what'll happen if you do, if you make it a habit to do that, is when you get distracted by something, your fingers will keep hitting it. And you won't waste time not hitting drones. Uh, I always bank up money. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like what I just told you to do will fix that problem for you. And it's the same concept when you like you make roaches or whatever. You just keep doing it even if you don't have enough money to do it. And it'll never make your money. It'll make your money always stay low and it'll make you spend everything. So start rallying your uh, hatchery to your natural. Always r rally your new your current base to the new base once you're fully saturated. Cuz right now you're two drones over saturation on the main. <clears throat> now you're three Jones under. You said too many. <laughs> Watch your overlords. You, uh, it's always good to see the creep, but once you see the creep, never send your overlord into the actual natural, because it, it's very likely to die to a queen. And then don't forget to start your upgrades. There you go, you got it. And then do you like Baneling style better, or do you like Roach style better? His mic broke. Uh, I, hope, I hope your mic has not broken again. Oh my god, I think it did. Uh, he's like AFK now. Get your ass downstairs and eat dinner! <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> okay, it sounds good, man. I just... My, my brother's computer just turned off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sounds like you have technical hard, hardware difficulties. Over and over. It sucks. Broken again? No, no it's you not. broke your mic? Okay. okay. Your computer just turned off. It turned <laughs> off. Oh, let me shut off sleep mode. Alright. Alright, so, so your money's a little high. So I would Yeah, I can tell. Taking a third base, and uh, start, uh, like, like a good timing to start more gas would always be when your natural is fully saturated. You can start like double gas at your natural. Yeah. Oh fuck! I mean fudge. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, we can do a new game. Wait, so, what? We can we can do a new game. You're you're gonna die, and unless, yeah. you, unless you want to stay and watch the drones die. Yeah. All right. Uh, I didn't scout that. Yeah, I was gonna say the it's well, it, you're. It sounds like you're dealing with a lot of stuff right now. You have a lot of things on your plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, well, I'm uh, gold league, so that's to be expected. Yeah, but uh, the best things you can do that I can recommend from that game <laughs> would be, uh, first of all, first let me ask you a question really quick. Do you like Baneling styles more <laughs> or Roche styles? Baneling, I like Baneling. <laughs> all right, so what you could do. Is make some? <laughs> yeah, is make some. <laughs> just uh, uh, always. This is really important. Uh, I would recommend going. Ha you like hatchery first, so that's fine. You can do that. Go 
pool and then gas after, and you get a really like remember it. your first hundred gas. Always like watch it. You should always be paying attention to it. Start speed as soon as you can, and the next time you get fifty gas, start a bailing nest. If you ever mess it up, it mean like if if you delay it and you don't make it right when you have those numbers, you're falling behind and you're making a big mistake. So make that a big like thing in your mind that you have to like fix and you need to make sure that always happens. Because if you don't, you'll always die to a timing like you just died to. Because if you have so, to, was that just like a speed timing or something? What was it, that? It just it was a random speed thing attack. It, you could have easily defended it if you had Baneling Nest, because you had yeah. plenty of time to make one. You just need to remember to make one. Yeah, sometimes. Oops. That's um, okay. I, sometimes... I, uh, I changed it. It's all good. Go ahead. Sometimes, well, I like, I'm just like looking out into the sky or something and forgetting to do stuff. Yeah, that's or... why I told you to roll your fingers on the keyboard, man. Yeah. And in this case, I had to fi turn on my brother's computer, so. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said it's okay. You're trying to do like three things at once over there, and then you're trying to also play StarCraft. Um, are you playing the same guy? Uh, yeah, we can. I'm, right. I'm looking for him in chat there. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a little bit of a bigger map this time. So I don't like this map. You don't like it? You gotta learn how to play it, though, man. Oh, I, I don't. I, I X this one out. After this coaching uh, lesson, you'll not do that anymore. <laughs> Uh, I just, I, I'm 1 in 10 on this one. <laughs> do you want me to make a new one, or do you want to try on this one? It's fine. Okay, alright. Alright, you ready, Nick? Yeah. Alright. Alright, so once again, big, big, big thing, big deal. Make sure you always keep uh, just rolling your fingers on make drone, make drone, make drone. Make that drone non-stop, because uh, yes. it'll help definitely spend your money, and it sets up every the whole game for uh, everything. Yeah. And also do a uh, yeah, do a 13 yeah. Overlord this time. Alright. Kind of, it's kind of a muscle memory thing to do. Yeah, no, it the definitely is. One. <coughs> also with your Overlord, send it towards your opponent's natural rather than their main. Oh. I always just click somewhere in the main. Yeah, because if you go to the main, you, you won't actually know what they're doing, other than the fact that they already have a pool, which they'll always have, even if they go pool first or hatchery first. But if you go to the natural, you'll be able to tell how early they took it, because you, yeah. you can compare it to yours. Sometimes I, 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 like, hockey my overlord, and then I click three, and then accidentally click, like, H, and it stops on the way there. Uh-oh. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't and do then that I forget thing. to move it again. All right. Uh, Where does the second one go? Uh, you can't see my pings, but I would say between your base and his base in the middle of the map. Alright. Also, don't forget to take your natural. I, I'm free. And then uh, I would say make one more drone, and then that drone should become your spawning pool. Or just yeah. stop droning until you make a spawning pool. But go to the spawn pool before gas? Yeah. Okay. So pool now, and then you can gas. And this right only, after? Yeah, yeah, gas right now, immediately. And it'll help, and then immediately start making drones while I'm talking. And then uh, it'll help dealing with uh, really early timings of zerglings, because if you go pool before gas, you'll have access to queens and zerglings and spine crawlers faster. Yeah. And you, you can actually defend someone who's going like 13-12 banding all in without a gas at all. Yeah. yeah. You just need queens and lings and spines, that's all it is. Yeah. Sometimes I just get pissed off because I lose a lot of games, and then I just cheese the guy. And how does that go? Is it a good stress reliever? This computer went into sleep mode again. Oh I just had to fix it. Now I have banking money up. Oh my god. Don't forget to make queens. Oh yeah. Those are important, right? <laughs> yeah. Lots of time I just find myself with not enough stuff to defend like earlier climbing attacks. Oh, there you go, man. Six slings. Um, yeah. You should go scout, scout with them. Also, watch your overlord. Um, pull it back. You uh, never go into the natural. It'll die. 
You, yeah, and you can also, if you send those things in, six lings can overpower a queen. I love how you just go silent. I just, oh, I, I just tried to inject his queen. Oh my god. I, sometimes, uh, I just like, don't know when to make drones or when to make army. That's why you gotta watch the larva. It's always good to scout your opponent with your, like, you how you made lings. Yeah. If you get into his base and you look at, let's say, his natural, if you have like eight drones and he's only got one or two, you can assume he's not making drones. Oh yeah. Also, I use F two a lot. I guess that's a bad habit. For, for now, that's fine. That's the the biggest thing you need to work on to improve at this game is macro, not micro. Yeah. Is it monitor? I just sleep. Go to sleep, mode. I can fix it. I just. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. All right, so uh, I would say definitely throw down a bailing nest as soon as you can, because you could potentially be. Uh, or actually, you know, it's it's pretty late. I would say also make a layer. And uh, do, you, do you do you prefer going uh, mutas yourself as well? No, I like roaches better. Okay. I got mutas against Terran though. Okay. Okay. So right now it's uh, if you if you like to open up bailing style, you should always also take a third really early. The game is kind of gotten to a weird stage right now but ideally you always want to take a third pretty quick yeah. like after you start making drones for your natural that's when you would want to take a third also make sure I've, I've seen you do this a few times really make sure your your hatchery is near like, as, as close to the minerals as possible you build a couple bases <laughs> off point I oh, know I just like I just like do it really fast and I don't it's it's worth the amount of time even if it takes you 10 fucking seconds to line it up it's worth the time to make it perfect, because you're gonna yeah. miss out on so much mining if you uh, put it that far away. Okay. And, uh, most games I make an army hotkey, but then I don't use it. That's why you got F2, man. Yeah. F2 is your friend. <laughs> Do, um, should I make a roach one or a spire? I would say make a, a roach one. Since you like roaches, you can make a roach one, but. Sure. Like, you should most make... of the time, I just waddle across the map with roaches, and then they all die to mutas. Yeah, well, I would say definitely make an overseer, and you can scout your opponent's base. And you can right. see what you're up against, because this game has gone to a point where neither one of you has done much to each other. You're both just making whatever you want, so there could very well be mutas coming. And if there are, there you are. should then prepare for that in some way. Like get Hydra Cavern? You, yeah, you could. You could go Hydras. Roach Hydra can beat Muta. All right, so you actually see a spire. So right now, I would say make like three. Layer, roach horn. Make like. Oh, there's a spire. Yeah. So there's mutas. Make like three spore crawlers per every base you own right now. Just oh, put them in like a triangle around your hatchery. Right. Okay. Max, I'm not allowed to stream sheet. Turn that off. Okay. And then um. Keep making drones for now as well. Because spore crawlers can fend off the mutas by themselves pretty quick. Wait, wouldn't the other dude stream sheet? They could, yeah. I can't stop them from doing that. But, um, but, yeah, even Spore Call your third, which you are. And then if you can, I would say also maybe move out with a couple Lings and scout. Because if you scout, like, let's say your opponent has a third and their mutas are attacking your base, you could just counterattack and kill their third while right. they're fighting Spore Crawlers. And then the, right. biggest, the biggest thing you want to do in this game as well is you always want to spend it your money, and then get your economy as fully saturated as possible, as fast as you can do it. Yeah. If you know you can. So right now you see the mutas flying in your main, but they're being pushed back by Sporecrawler, and you just yeah, scouted the third. Scouted. I would send all your lings and all your banes to kill his third. Alright. <laughs> Wait, should I make more queens? Uh, oh, I don't have my no, third you, you, you already have hydras, so what I would say right now is you should actually take all your gas and try to saturate your third base all together, and then make hydras and roaches. Alright. So the spore should kill the. The spores mutas? will fight the mutas off for now. Don't send your hydras out though. If you send those oh. hydras out, they'll die. That was all army hockey. Okay, just pull back. pull back. So that was good. You're now on three base versus someone who's on two base. So if you just saturate your third, and then you make hydras out of that and roaches, you'll you should win. All right. So that's that's your goal here. Saturate your third, and then make roach hydra, and you're good. I know. Lots of time I have garbage creep spread too. <laughs> In ZVZ, it's. it's uh, Creep spread in ZVZ is not as important as it is in other matchups. As long as you have Overlord Vision or something, you're fine. 
Yeah, I have one overload, but it's now dying. That's alright. You already scouted what you really need to, which was your opponent tech to Mita, and then your opponent also um, lost a third. So you know you're ahead in economy. Alright. So get some more overlords, because a few of them died. Get all your gases saturated. You have a gas in your main that's not used in the, both of the natural. So yeah, the number the number one key thing that I can already tell you about your play that you can improve on is number one for sure is hatchery placement. That you should definitely always make that perfect. And the number two would be the speed at which you saturate your base. I feel like you uh, undersaturate a lot. Yeah, well, it's kind of scarier in ZVZ because lots of people attack really early on. Yeah, well that's why you can always always just make like a group of Ling Bane early on at like. Yeah, like uh, when you're like one and a half saturated bases, so your main saturated, and your natural might have like five drones at it, or something like that, you could then make like 20 or 30 lings, and that you could do it every game, and that those lings could be to defend all ins or to scout and see what your opponent's doing. Yeah. And if you see your opponent is not all inning you, you could just then saturate quickly on at least your natural, like all the rest of your natural. You'll notice that's how uh, people who are in higher leagues, that's what they'll do, is they'll saturate quicker. And yeah. that's why they're getting leads and stuff. But you're doing well right now. You're, uh, you're saturated. Can I take a fourth? Uh, you, you can take a fourth, yeah. But I would say only transfer your drones from bases that are getting mined out to it. Don't make new drones. Oh, All right. yeah. This one. <coughs> yeah, it's good. But you're doing it again, though. Your hatchery's off. You should uh, just uh, cancel it and make uh, it perfect. Like, it is. Is that good? That's is that good? Yeah, that's good. You lose so much mining time if you make it like that, the way you had it the yeah. first time. Alright, so just keep making Roach Hydra. Yeah. You can put gas in your main, you have one gas not being used. Yeah. And then start your upgrades as well. For your, your Evo Chambers, Attack and Carapace. I made those a long time ago. Uh... I then know, I maybe. forgot to upgrade with it. Yeah, it's all good. Just do it now. No. And then after that, you can, uh, yeah, just roach hydra it up. Do I, when do I push? Or like when one one finishes? Uh, no, don't wait that long. I would say push when you max, because you're gonna max well before your one one. So right. just make another wait one more huge round of roach, I would say, and then go for it. Yeah. Some games I make way too many drones, like I make like 100 drones or so. In Zerg vs Zerg, you never really want to go above like 66. Yeah. So 3 base saturation and then stop. Yeah. Alright. You also have one gas at your third base not being used right now. The bottom right. one. Which prime subs, uh... <coughs> Alright, so... I would say hit F2, because you have a few Hydras in your main and natural and stuff near the hatcheries. Just grab everything you got, and then move out towards your opponent's base. Alright. I forgot Bane Link speed. It's okay. While you're doing this, make, this is the big, really important thing. While you move out, inject every hatchery right now. And right. while stuff starts dying, make new stuff. Like, start making right. more roaches and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. And then for positioning, just make sure the roaches do not get in behind the hydras. I think your roach speed roach. upgrade never finished. Oh, I didn't. I didn't make it. Yeah, it's okay. You can still push with this. Just make sure the hydras are behind the roaches. All right. A lot of stuff. All right, now just a move it. Don't move. Don't move your units anymore. And now start okay. making units behind this. Start making right. new roaches and new hydras. Okay. It's kind of dying. It's okay. You're actually yeah. trading well. All right. Now, all the units you just made, send them in the fight as well. That when they, as soon as they spawn. And re keep injecting, and keep making units. Macro is like the number one key in how to get better at this game. Yeah. So watching the fight and just staring at it a lot, is it's only really... You should glance at it and see, are you doing okay, or are you getting like destroyed? And if you're doing okay, focus a lot on macro, and just making units. Always. You're winning the game right now, though. Yeah. Nice, because you're helping. <laughs> it's all good, man.
Oh, I made a Ravager by accident. It's okay. Now you can just regroup with all the units coming across the map and just keep keep attacking. And keep making more. <laughs> Why am I? I don't know. All right, nice. that was good. Good job. good job. I played pretty good that game. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna really quickly. Um, I'm gonna do a game, and. I'm not necessarily gonna. If I, if you want me to play against someone, I will. But otherwise, I just want to show you a timing of a build that would be something you can use as like a reference, so you can like use this <coughs> to like look at the replay and go, okay, at this exact time, he was doing this, doing this, and this is what I should aim for, and he did this, and he did this. It'd be really good for you to like make a checkpoint list for yourself to like actually try and mimic what I'm doing, and it'll help a lot at um, just improving how you your build is. Yeah. It won't be when you. That wouldn't be a good idea. It was really hard. <laughs> Only one one hand. You can beat him. One hand. All right. Okay. Um. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right. So uh, feel free as well to ask me questions you have at all or anything on your mind about what's going on during the game. I don't mind. And I'll just try to explain exactly what I'm doing to you. <coughs> Alright, so my overlord first is always going to go outside into the natural. Kind of near where the ramp is, but always to the natural. <laughs> and 13 overlord. And then I'm already holding down make drones before my overlord's even done. Pardon? Oh, sorry, I didn't hold the mic down. Uh, I'm I was already like making drones even before the overlord was done, just because yeah. I don't even want to lose like a single second. I want to make everything as soon as I can. And now yeah. I'm, at, I'm at 17 supply. And when you hit like 170 minerals, send a drone to your natural because you'll hit 300 right as you get there, and you can make a hatchery right as you get there. Yeah. Yeah. I normally do that. I just forgot. I don't really take it down pretty early. I yeah. Like it. And then I'll make one more drone, and I'll go 17 pool now. Yeah. And then one more drone, and I'll make a gas. So 17 hatch, 17 pool, 17 gas. And now I'm just spamming drones until 19 supply. Yeah. And at 19, I will make an overlord. Yeah, it feels like some games I do my best to get a supply block as possible. Yeah. No, that's probably not too good. But a lot of times what I'm doing with my, t like, what I'm actually paying attention to is I'm looking at my larva. And I'm, I'm glancing at the mini-map every once in a while, but I'm looking at my larva making sure I'm not actually wasting any time. Every time I have a larva, I spend it. And now I'm gonna look at the natural because my overlord's here, yeah. and I'm only gonna be looking for a hatchery and seeing how like how far along it is. And as soon as I see it, I'll back off. All right. So it's a little bit slower than mine, but it's it's still like oh, hatchery first. You can tell because it's about to be finished. Yeah. So now I'm looking at my resources. I'm about to have enough for zergling speed, so immediately I'm starting it. And then I'm still ma I made one zergling just to go scout right now, just to do a follow up, uh, overall scout. And I'm making drones behind it still. And I'm watching my money, and I'm, up, I'm about to have enough for a bailing nest, so I'm immediately going to start one. 
uh, as soon as I have 50 gas and 100 minerals, which is right now. Successful. Uh, sometimes I don't like make a veinling nest at all, or just remember to do it all the time. Yeah. So you can see that the overlord of theirs is coming into my natural. That's that's why you want to prevent that. I'll let it. I'll let it run away. I won't kill it. Three kills. Now I'm looking at the natural, and I see three drones. I've got seven. This is a little bit less than what I have right now. Yeah. So it's cause for concern. I'm gonna go into the main and see what's going on there. Yeah. <coughs> Pretty uh, standard. I see double gas. double gas. One of them's not being mined yet. And yeah. drones are still being built, but now there's zerglings. I'm just gonna play it safe, play it and safe. this is what you can do every game. Once you're at like <clears throat> 30 to 35 supply, just make like 16 zerglings or like 20 zerglings. So like, so like a full inject of zerglings basically. And while you do this, you can take your third too. Because yeah. this will give you map control. And having a third base is really important. It's really good for the style. And before my lings spawn, I could even make banelings like this. Just like safety banelings in case I were to get all in. Yeah. And now I can move out with this little tiny army I just made. And behind it, I can make drones again. And I can make like a roach warren. So this would be the good timing to make a roach warren. And also a good time to take double gas at your natural. Because you're now going back into droning. Which hat? Why do you you take this hatchery, this back one here? It one doesn't. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you like. I uh, sometimes I take the other one as well. It's just really whatever you prefer. Yeah. So I won't attack. I'll just I'll just scout. But I could attack right now. Yeah. So this probably would do a lot of damage if I ran the banelings into like the mineral line. But we'll just back up for a second. Yeah. And now yeah. if you look back at my base, we're already fully saturated on two base. We got a layer going up, we got a roach warren done. And I uh Um and now I'm gonna start like an Evo chamber to get ready to go into like upgraded virtues. You don't need two right away, one's good. Because you can just get weapon upgrades and weapon upgrades are huge for the virtues. Uh the Foro is trying like a plus one roach timing attack. <coughs> but then I would just die but from Mutas. Yeah. So that's why yeah, I stopped doing it. It happens. That's why these zerglings that I'm doing right now are so important. Because I am scouting everything that's going on. I see that there are roaches out now. I see that the my opponent's still on two bases. And right now my opponent has made way too many roaches to even have the possibility of going into Mutalisk. All the gas is going into those roaches. So I'm also right now going to start making roaches. And that's all we're going to do right now. Because uh, I don't see a third, so I don't need to really... Make a third. Alright, sorry, I don't need to fully saturate my third. I just need to make roaches now to not die to a timing. And every second that goes by, I'm getting further ahead because I have a bigger economy than my opponent. Yeah. So that's like, that's kind of like the aim of the game for Zerg, is you want to always try and have a better economy than your opponent. And if you do, you don't, you should not feel rushed to like take a fight. Because every second that goes by when your economy is better is another second you're getting further ahead than your opponent. So we can wait until we have like plus one weapons and also rich speed. That'd be like a good timing to hit. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, hide your like the overlords that you don't use for map vision. You just keep them hovering around. Yeah, I just keep them in the back usually. You never really want to put all your overlords out on the map because that's a good way to lose the game if uh, your opponent were to let's say like make mutas and then all your overlords die and you get super supply blocked. Yeah. Because replacing overlords is kind of expensive if you lose a lot of them. Yeah. You just make roaches or do you make ling man? Yeah, you can do whatever you want really, but. Since my opponent is making roaches, if you think about it like this, what yeah. like roaches beat roaches if you have more of them. Like it's yeah. you can make it really simple. And since yeah, I have more much. economy, I know I'm making roaches at a faster rate. And also I have a third and my opponent didn't. So now we can move out because I have uh, I have plus one, I also I have I also have roach speed. So now while the fight's gonna be going on, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep making roaches. And I'm gonna just rally my hatcheries towards my opponent's base. 
yeah. and just fly the brushes at this point and see how it goes. Lots of the time I don't rally my hatcheries at all and they just kind of sit around and do nothing. Yeah. It's... You, I would say try it a few times and see if you like it. But yeah. the, we've macroed well enough to at this point where we can just run over our opponent. And yeah. yeah, we're just still, like we're still spending our money. We're still making roaches. A lot of the time during this fight, I'm not even watching it. I kind of just a moved it, and I'm focusing on injecting my hatcheries, making sure my queens are still doing their thing, and then um, making sure I'm spinning my larva still as well. I think a lot of times people in lower leagues they'll focus way too much on the fight, and they won't actually yeah. macro. They focus on the fight, and then they still don't do anything in the fight. Yeah, it's because they don't. Like, they, they turn the fight into kind of like an all-in. Because yeah. if you don't reinforce the army you have, it becomes a lot weaker overall. Yeah. And this, there you go. That's it, babe. That's, uh, I, I feel like that's a, good, that's a good overall timing checkpoint for you to go for. Yeah. So, so if you're going to watch that replay, look at it like, okay, at four minutes, vibes at 45 supply or 50 supply, and he's got this and this, this many drones. I should try and have that many when I do my games. Yeah. And always do that uh, that Ling Bane army we did in the very beginning that you saw when I was on two bases. Because if you actually attack with that, like obviously I scouted with it, I didn't go ham and attack. But if yeah. you like blow the banelings up in the mineral line, you'll get even further ahead. And it'll just set the game up even better for you. Hey, can we pause for a sec? Yeah. I have to go to the locker. Yeah, that's fine. Yo, Tara Lynn, thank you very much for playing. I might have you play against uh, Nick again. And you'll meet me with the sub as well. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dan, play me 1v1 while coaching him. <laughs> Shut up, Rob. What the hell? <coughs> <clears throat> How's it going, Vibe? Pretty good. I'm in the middle of a coaching lesson. It's almost over. I'll be coaching for probably another, like, 10 minutes. 10, 15. Uh, 10, 15 minutes. So probably one more game. Alright, welcome back. Alright, so do you want to do one more? One more game? And I'll watch you again. Alright. Alright. Oh, like should I do that? Roach speed timing? Or roach yeah. speed and plus one timing? Yeah, I would say focus on doing that first above all else. Because yeah. even if your opponent went mutas, if you just macroed well enough to where you have enough roaches, you could just run through the mutas and kill all the drones and then the base, the, your opponent's base entirely while the mutas are sitting there trying to kill the roaches. Yeah. Most of the time I just don't have enough though. Exactly, that's why you should definitely just focus a lot on the macro. Yeah. And you'll just, it doesn't even matter what your opponent makes at that point, you'll just be able yeah, to run through it and kill it. Alright. Yeah, let's ask if she's ready. Okay, how long, how long until this is over? Fun. About like 10 more minutes. 10, 15. Alright. Alright, you ready? Yep. Alright. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Here we go, boys. Most of the time when I I see ZVZ, I'm just like, oh crap, it's ZVZ. <laughs> Loose. Yeah. It does feel kind of random. If uh, if you're not actually actively scouting their base, it feels very random. Yeah. <laughs> nice, you're, you're doing well. Keeping those larvae spent so far, it's really good. Yeah. And remember, 170, and then send a drone to the natural. So like right now. Perfect. Nice, Ooh, nice. I sent my I sent my overlord back. That's all good. 
On this map, I, this map's a little different since there's like a pocket natural. I would say leave your overlord in at the third base, like in front of the ramp. Instead of diving all the way into the natural, because your overlord would die if you did that again. Yeah. And then make a pool, and then a gas. Oh, I almost made it. Gas and then a pool. A lot of people go gas pool, which is, it's if, eventually if you want to go back to doing that, you totally can. It just yeah. makes it easier to defend all ins if you go pool before gas. Yeah. Did I make it overlord now? Uh, 19 supply, yeah. So, yep. And then right now, you're fully saturated on the main, so rally point your hatchery on your main to your natural mineral line. Alright. Normally I just rally them from like eggs, I make like a round of drones, and then I rally it to my other... Yeah. This way though, you don't have to actually look at the hatchery to macro. Yeah. <coughs> then start your queens. And start yeah, one, sure. one egg of zerglings, and this one egg of zergling should just go run around his base. Try not to actually fight anything. I just rally it? Uh, yeah, just like hotkey it and then rally it to his base. I forgot to hotkey it. It's okay. You can I just click, you, you can click the egg and hotkey it that way. Yeah. And then while you're doing this, just keep making drones for a second. And don't forget your yeah. upgrades too. So you got enough to do zergling speed right now. And then watch your gas too. As soon as you get 50 gas, try and remember to make a bailing nest. Yeah. Sometimes I rally all, I like, I have all my hatchery selected and I click on their base and all my overlords go over there. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Sometimes it can suck. I That's understand. a lot of zerglings. <laughs> yeah, so right now, make zerglings. Start making lings of your own. I do. Should I make spine crawlers? Uh, spines will probably not be done in time. Just start making zerglings and you should put queens. Oh, Put queens like in between your minerals so they can like not be fully surrounded and just keep making zerglings and you could even make more queens Yeah, they're right here already. Yep, it's okay. Just uh, run your drones if he attacks the mineral line run the drones to the opposite mineral line And then just keep making links It's okay. You're doing good so far. You haven't lost anything Yeah. All right now your links are starting to spawn so you could probably fight with everything just overpower him with your drones and your lings all together right now if he fights right. you. And if, if don't chase him all the all way. Right, so, he's running away. Yeah, so okay, so go back to mining. I turn this into banelings? Uh yeah, that's good. Now you can, now since you have banelings, I would say start making mass drones. Like don't even worry about making more lings now. Right. And if you if you do if but if you do, since you have already started making more lings, you should attack now. <laughs> Right. Because banelings are banelings would be huge at defending your base, but if you make more lings with it, it'll be huge at attacking your opponent's base. So yeah, just go across the map with what you just made, and behind this, start making drones. All right. And then uh, yes. re uh, resaturate your gas, and yeah, just keep making drones, and you're good. And since your mineral lines now are pretty well spread, actually re rally your main mineral line, your main hatchery to your main mineral line, because you have a good spread of drones now. Since you I had take a fourth base, I mean third base. Yeah, you can take a third while doing this too. That'd be good. I'd say take a third, take a layer, and also take a roach warren, and then some mass drones. Alright. And when you have a second, send your army in and try and do some damage. That was a lot of links though. That's alright, one good baneling hit and you take them all out. Lead with the banelings. There you go, that was good. Now just keep making drones behind this and go check the base Can I go out. up in there? Yeah, go, go. Maybe kill a queen, maybe kill some drones. For sure you're gonna force more units out of your opponent, which means they're not gonna be making drones themselves. So behind this, after like keep making drones while you're macroing. Don't let your money get too high. Yeah. Keep, keep injecting. And then start making roaches as well. And All like right. make so like- So do I start roaches now? Yeah, you can make like eight roaches. Like make, don't make- like one or two, make like eight of them. So just in case your opponent counterattacks, uh, you'll I just be got okay. supply blocked. It's okay. No rush. You're you're in a great spot right now. You're you're doing well, because you defended the timing early on, and you just did good damage by eliminating your opponent's entire army. So this is, and like in terms of priority, what you should be focusing on. This is what you should do. Number one, okay. is make like eight roaches, just so you're, so you're safe from everything. Number two, saturate all three of your bases, get all three of them saturated, and number three. Scout your opponent and find out what they're doing and you can make an overseer offensively like at their base already with one of those overlords over there 
And you can see, is my opponent going Spire? Are they going Rushes? Are they going Lings? You just want to know what they're doing. And if your opponent makes a Spire, you should make Hydras again. <coughs> I make a hydrogen? Uh, you should, well, first you gotta scout. Uh, get an overseer at your opponent's base and find out what they're doing. I love this overlord. He's only on two bases. Yeah, the, the more likely, that, or the less bases he's on, the more likely he's teching. So, uh, yeah. He can't um, afford anything, everything at once. Exactly. Where's this drone going? Alright, so make sure you also revalue your, all your hatcheries to your third base so you don't get oversaturated on the main and natural. I would say make it a habit, just because uh, I know you like to ha uh, rally the eggs, but if you just rally the hatcheries, it makes it so much easier for you. Yeah. I'm just and, used to rallying the eggs. Yeah, I know, I know. It's, it, habits are hard to break, overall. Yeah, like the F2 one. Yeah. So you see... Okay, so you see a spire. So I'd say definitely, right now, do the same thing we, we did last time. Hydrogen? Where, where you, make, you make a hydrogen, and also make triple spore crawler at every base. So this way, you're not going to just have your drones die before hydrogens are out. There's so many drones on three spark rollers. Yeah, I know. It's it's okay though, because okay, okay. you can make more. <laughs> you yeah. can just make a lot more. I have a lot of money. Yeah, so remember what I said the priorities were. Getting your bases fully saturated is extremely important. Yeah. So just keep making drones until you're fully saturated on the third as well. Gas is included. Yeah. Alright. And then also, right now you, as well, you can uh, start Roach Speed and also Hydra upgrade as well for speed and range. I just turn money. I get evos? Uh, yeah, you can get evos too. Both do, yeah, do double. If you're gonna go Roach Hydra, double evos always good. And armor and... Armor and attack, yep. So you, you're almost fully saturated, you're really close, just finish it off. I would say also start a fourth base anywhere you want, because your main's gonna start mining out, and you can transfer those drones to the fourth. Yeah. And then just make Mass Roach Hydra again. Right. And your evo chambers <laughs> are almost done, so you can start 1-1. One, one. And you could I actually start. one range weapon and one carapace, and then you could do a timing to attack your opponent when these upgrades finish for right. one one timing. Sometimes versus Protoss, I I go plus. I do like a hydralisk and zergling and baneling attack, and I go plus one attack and melee. Yeah, no, it's, I actually like a um, range attack and melee attack against Protoss as well because carapace is kind of irrelevant against a lot of compositions that they'll make. Like, Immortals don't do anything. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. If you get Carapace against Immortals, it does not change how many hits it takes to kill your units. Yeah. Alright, so finish saturating your gases at your third two, and then you're, and then you're good. Alright, nice. And do I move out? Uh, when you're 1-1. One, one. <laughs> so, you make, like, a big round of Overlords right now. All of my larvae? Uh, you, uh, no, no, you, you did already. You have nine. That's good. Nine's good. So just now make mass uh, Hydra Roach. A good amount of units to have, this would be like a good thing to remember. A good amount of units to have would be, try to have like 20 Hydras, somewhere between like 20 to 24 Hydras, and the rest Roaches. All right. You don't ever want to have more Hydras than Roaches because uh, you'll, your, your front line will get overpowered really fast, and then your Hydras are really not good at tanking damage. Yeah. They're pretty, they're, they're pretty squishy. <coughs> yeah, pretty much. Alright, so you're, you're almost at 1-1. Your timing will be in about the next, like, 20 seconds. So you can make this next round of larvae that just popped off your hatcheries all into, like, roaches, I would say. And then that'll be perfect to move out with. Alright. Alright, I only have 57 drones. Is that too little no, or too much? A little, it's a little bit low, but, uh, like, 66 is a good ideal number to have in ZVZ. Alright. Oh, I didn't hotkey this one. Should I go? Yeah, you go for it. Now start 2-2 two, two as well on the upgrades oh. while you're moving out. Can I make a lurker den? Uh, yeah, you can. I like them I like them against Zerg. Yeah, do it. And it's, lurkers actually will destroy uh, your opponents a lot of the time if uh, if they're also going for a ground style. Yeah. Alright, so what I would this is what I would say to do. Attack, like just literally attack his main base, like the area of it on the map. Yeah. And then just focus on injecting right now and focus on... Um, the keeping units being produced and you can yeah, watch the watch. army just like look at it and go okay this fight's going well so I don't have to micro it 
Like, you don't have to actually micro that much. The only times I would say you need a micro is would be like if you're walking into something really bad and then you don't want to fight that. Yeah. Well, like, you're, you're walking into a great fight right now for you, so you don't even have to micro. Right now, you should definitely just be focusing on injecting and uh, macroing. <coughs> And uh, there you go, perfect. They win. And you can do things like even setting up the game for more stuff, like going back to your bases and making sure all your mineral lines are perfectly saturated. Like you could transfer some drones from your main and natural to your fourth base. Uh, you yeah. can make a little bit more drones for your third base because you, to get you up to the optimal <laughs> saturation. Yeah. You could make an infestation pit and get ready to go to hive tech and then start your 3 3 once you're there. I should probably attack. Yeah, you definitely like you attack his main while doing all this, so you, you don't even have to watch the army because you just won a major fight. So you know you're gonna do a lot of damage with this, but as long as you keep your macro moving forward, you're never gonna like waste time. Thanks. Yeah, that was good. Good stuff. I like I got quite a bit better. Yeah, just I would definitely say that the biggest things to focus on is number one is always making sure your initial economy is going well, you're not wasting time, like, supply blocking yourself or uh, not spinning your larva. That's number one. Number two is always scout your opponent with, like, uh, the, the, the initial overlord just to see if they expanded at all or if they're full-on all inning you. And then follow it up with, like, that zergling scout we did where you just have one zergling go, okay, what is he doing? And am I, you know, am I allowed to keep making drones or am I about to get attacked by something? And then once you kind of set the game up that way, it'll always set up the same. You'll either get all in and you'll defend it or die, depending on how well you do it. Or you'll know that you're both playing macro. And then uh, <coughs> in a macro game where you're both doing it, all it comes down to is who can saturate their bases quicker than the other and then start making an army. Because if you start making an army before you're fully saturated, you will always lose against someone who has more drones than you. It'll always happen. Unless there's like some weird random timing where like your opponent made way too many drones and now you just hit this weird roach timing and you win. But if you're both just playing standard macro, it's all about saturating your three base as quick as possible and then going to max out off of roach hydra or whatever units you want to make. So just keep that in mind, that's a really important thing. Uh, yeah, and I don't know, that's... <clears throat> Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, you have any other questions about anything that we went over? Not really. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for the coaching lesson. Wait, uh, go and get an R one soon. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, let me know a when different you different matchup. Let me know not when you get a platinum, but when you get diamond, because it'll happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Have a good rest of your night. Thanks for uh, thanks for everything. Better have dinner. Yeah, you better go now. Your parents are going to be mad. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, See, you later. See you later. Bye. Yeah. See you soon. Disconnected. Okay. GG, boys. GG. We coached Mr. Nick. <laughs> All right, I'll put that on YouTube as well. That was kind of a funny coaching lesson.